A fishing boat washes ashore on San Francisco's Ocean Beach. The captain nowhere to be found. Tonight, authorities are trying to figure out what happened and where that fisherman is now. Good evening, everybody. I'm Pam Moore. The Coast Guard has suspended the search for the missing man, but what happened to him is still a mystery. The boat ran aground on Ocean Beach very early this morning. Surprisingly, it remains at that same spot right now. And that's where Crown Force Dan Kerman is located. He joins us live with the latest details. Dan. Well, Pam, you're right. That boat is still here. They're waiting for the tides to calm down a little bit before they try pulling that out. You know, uh, rescue crews from the San Francisco Fire Department boarded that boat earlier, just the top deck, and they said the fisherman was not on the top deck. They couldn't get to the lower deck, but the general wisdom is they believe he is no longer on the boat. Where he is, though, is still a mystery. The fishing boat Paloma continues to twist and turn along San Francisco's Ocean Beach. Tide's still too dangerous to remove it. The Coast Guard says the fishing vessel ran aground early Monday morning, and when it happened, the fishermen aboard contacted another boat. He was in communication with them via radio, saying that uh, asking for help at 3.30, uh, that he was uh, on the rocks, in his words, and uh, needing assistance. And then shortly thereafter, there was no more communication with him. And he had intonated that he would be trying to swim ashore with a life jacket. But the fisherman, identified as Timothy Librand, has not been found. Shortly after 4 a.m., the Coast Guard, aided by the San Francisco Fire Department, began searching an 18-square-mile area from Ocean Beach to the Golden Gate Bridge. But the air and sea search was called off around noon when authorities found nothing. The boat is only like 10 feet off the grant, uh, off the shore, so it's more than likely the person probably made it to shore. This life raft was found near shore, but it's unclear whether Librand deployed it and if he was on it. In the meantime, attempts to pull the boat out of the water during a noontime low tide proved to be too dangerous. And as you can see now, there's, there's waves breaking over the vessel. It's extremely unsafe condition. Now the plan is to wait for an even lower tide Tuesday morning. Our plan is to bring the boat out of the surf, uh, defuel the vessel, uh, conduct a pollution assessment, and then uh, turn it over to the Na National Park Service for salvage of the entire vessel. Now, early this morning, there was a smell of diesel fuel on the water, but that quickly dissipated, and right now the Coast Guard says there is no diesel fuel or any type of fuel visible in the water. Still, they want to get that boat out of there as quick as possible. Right now, it is set for about 1.30 this morning, or tomorrow morning, that is, when the low tide arrives. That's the latest reporting live at Ocean Beach. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.